We're in Microsoft Windows 10 and we've got Hyper-V running a Windows 2016 server. I'm going to show you how to shut down and restart the server or the virtual machine that's running on your computer. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. One way is you can double click on the computer itself and click connect and log in. And once you're in, you can right click on it, choose shut down or and restart. Another way you could do this is you can right click on the virtual machine inside Hyper-V and choose shut down. And after it's done shutting down, we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and click shut down. When it's done shutting down, you'll see it in this little corner here. You see this little picture as the server shuts down and it'll go to blank. It's now down. We can go right click, choose and click start. And if we want, we can double click on it and watch it restart at the same time. And now it's back up again. Now, on occasion, you're going to have a problem where you right click and you choose to shut down and you get an error message saying it can't do that. Now, it does that for a couple of reasons. One is if it's a domain controller. So if you're running a domain controller in Hyper-V, then you may see that message. And the only way to shut it down will be to double click on it, as I showed you earlier, and then go to the start button and shut it down. Another would be as if it's running an installation program or something where the, the, uh, the processor itself is not letting go. So you could shut it down. And in that case, you'll once again have to double click or click connect and go to the server and choose the start button to shut down. But other than that, you should have no problem in shutting down the server simply by right-clicking and choosing shut down.